Jackie. Uh, so as you have seen, and even seen each of these women in different roles in this industry, there really is a role for all different skill sets. Uh, for those who are journalists or authors and looking to get in the cannabis industry, what would your advice be to them on getting started? I'm going to expand this to just media in general because there's definitely a place for people even if you can't write. Um, if you are a photographer or perhaps you are better on camera or, or you're good at content creation, there's definitely a place for you. It requires a bit of an entrepreneurial spirit, especially um, cannabis media as a segment is, is very much a segment. and. It's not as hard to break into, but there's less opportunity there because there just isn't as much money and there isn't as much mainstream cachet. So there are a lot of opportunities, but it's very hard to make a living off of just being solely in cannabis media. I had the benefit of growing my cannabis media career on the back of my general, you know, like my main media, mainstream media career. So I had a lot of mainstream media contacts and it was very easy for me to be like, Oh, well, I can pitch this, you know, story to this publication because I can find the weed angle in it and, and that's kind of how I get it. Like, like, you know, I'm writing, again, I'm writing a story for the New York Times about the social history of Thanksgiving, which is a bit of, <laughs> I feel like we're kind of making this up, but <laughs> we're doing it. It's going to be canonized finally. And, and, you know, they came to me because I'm, you know, I was the weed person who they knew also had, you know, other media experience and could kind of handle reporting the story on that level. So my advice to you, especially as someone who's knowledgeable about weed, if you want to get into media, is tackle the mainstream. That's where you're going to change hearts and minds. And as much as I love writing stories for the cannabis community, and that's kind of also where my bread and butter is, I love you know writing instructional or educational articles that kind of illuminate the world of cannabis and the culture of cannabis around it for everyday people who aren't don't really have access to it or never really were in the culture but you know maybe they come home from work and instead of a beer they like to have a joint i would say that's probably the majority of cannabis users right so they're probably not necessarily going to wade in, into cannabis media so the mainstream is where you can really get them and a lot of media people in cannabis do tend to stay just within cannabis so i think there's real opportunity especially as this industry continues to professionalize and advertising opportunities continue to open up and who knows you know once it becomes federally legal that is going to be a whole other paradigm for media so it seems like the critical mass is there but there's actually so much more to come so the more you root yourself now the more that you can get there um, also become an expert, um, especially as women. It's, it's like that meme with the band t-shirt where it's like, oh, you like Metallica, name five Metallica songs. It can be like that in weed as a woman, you know? Um, I think, oh, I can see a lot of head nodding. Um, so just, just make sure you are the expert, make sure you're the most knowledgeable one, and you can do that with education. And a lot of people in media and cannabis will, you know, they're excited to be here, they're excited that this is legalizing, and so, it can be fun, especially when brands are inundating you with samples and everything to just kind of take that party line and run with it and write whatever these brands want you to. But if you become an expert, you can interrogate that. And you remember you're not in service to these brands, you're in service to your readers. And so if that's your guiding line and you also have the knowledge to back it up, then you can navigate this space really well. I would say um, another tip is to just be normal. A lot of um, journalists who are more traditionally trained and come from mainstream media can be really stiff and weird, and you can spot them from a mile away, like they're not part of the culture, they definitely don't fit in. At the same time, a lot of people who came up in weed media maybe don't know how to exist as much in those mainstream spaces. Um, the answer is just be normal, be human. Um, if you are part of the culture, you know, Make sure that you're honoring that and you're honoring that subculture tradition. Don't be a narc. Um, that's definitely a weird li line to ride. I've been given access to so many things that, oh my God, if I could only write about this, but I also don't want to harm a community that at times I'm trying to advocate for. Um, and so it can be kind of a tough line when you're in service to the public and your readers and also you know that you have a marginalized community behind you. So that's something that I always try to evaluate, but my guiding mantra is just like, be normal, be cool, and you'd be surprised how far that that can take you. So um, I would say other than that, um, I think I had one more point. Let me make sure I'm making it. Oh yeah, be nimble. Again, um, learn photography if you can write. Not everybody can write, but it's a skill that you can nurture. Um, just work on all of your different media skills, become perfect with social media, even though that landscape is always changing for cannabis people. Um, 
But I found that the more I just, you know, I've run into opportunities where it's like, oh, I don't do that. And it's like, well, why not? I can just learn it and then I can do it. And so I found I've had all these different kinds of opportunities just because I was willing to throw out what I, you know, whatever idea I had about myself and pick up a new skill. And in media, which is also a really um, beleaguered and difficult industry with its own set of enormous problems, different from cannabis, when you're existing in both of those spaces, staying nimble will keep you in the game. And, Frankly, that's kind of why I'm still in the game. I can't believe it. Um, I can't believe I still have a job. So um, that's my advice for that. And it, it goes double for cannabis.